for the art style, um, for those worked on the show, what was it like then to see an anime that changed up for that? And then uh, we'll start with you, Christine, because yeah, I didn't get a talk on the art style yet of the show. So in general, Monica has this cool, sketchy style, which is not super common, and then throws mm -hmm. in these other art styles. What did you think as a viewer watching that? I loved it. Like, I love all the labyrinth scenes. Mm -hmm. They're all... They're Elaborate, 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 <laughs> elaborate, 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 elaborate. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, and yeah, elaborate. It, I feel like it did set Madoka apart from a lot of the shows, especially at the time. I still can't think of a show now that really does like took such risks mm. with the art style. Mm. And mm -hmm. I, there's I, I, the Monogatari series. Oh, did they same do that director, too? yeah. Oh, okay. Adachi, yeah. Makes sense. Same director, same animation company, Shaft. Yeah. So yeah. Well, there, that signature style of theirs is very. I feel like it really is, like makes Monica stand out as a series. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Oh, I, I, oh yeah. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Um I like Christine's answer. <laughs> <laughs> if I say anything like it was pretty I just say yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, pretty. Oh, it's a visual medium. You yeah. literally yeah. are watching it. So if you don't like the style, it's like gonna affect wanting to watch a show. I feel like that's what makes animation so effective is mm. it's not just confined to like mm -hmm. reality. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like there's already that break. Yeah. So when you do things like this, um, I just think being able to explore like those different mediums and yeah. um, utilizing like creative things like symbolism and stuff, I think that's what makes animation so powerful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I love looking for. There's so many th like you could watch it over and over all their labyrinths. There's so many pieces of symbolism for each character. Oh yeah, that are all related specifically to the to, to the curse. Yes. Yes. That yeah. That part was awesome. Hey After Buzzers, if you like this clip, be sure to check out the link in the description below to view the whole episode. Also, we'd appreciate it if you'd like this video and comment your thoughts. Remember, no matter what TV show you're a fan of, we have an after show for you. All you need to do is search After Buzz TV, followed by the name of your favorite TV show. Buzz you later!